Hey. Okay, now I can, ha -ha. I can see me, but I can't see. So, there oh, are. there you are. There you are. I Jeez see you. Louise, ya. man. <laughs> I don't know why it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I don't remember why the hell we met. Welcome to This Commerce Life. This is a podcast aimed at small, medium entrepreneurs focused on commerce. I'm Phil, your host, and Kenny, your co-host, will join us as well. And we're going to talk to you about the world of retail and commerce and how things are changing in the world. Hey guys, Phil here. Thanks for joining us today. Um, just a note about today's episode. It is longer than our usual episode. We had a great conversation with um, Kent, who runs a brand, who had a question for us a couple of weeks ago. So we brought him on the show so he could share more with us so Kenny and I could help him out. You hear us get really excited about this, uh, so we left as much of this episode in as we could. We figured you would find it useful too. And this pretty much encapsulates, en encapsulates what we're after on this show is to be able to help small brands and medium brands with their issues. So, longer episode coming up. We hope you don't mind. Uh, the other thing is, um, you know, thank you for all the support that you've given us. One ask of you is that um, if you like us and you look forward to listening to us, we would love it if you either shared us with someone else that you think would like this show, uh, or if you went to iTunes and wrote us a review. Uh, that'll help us show up on other people's searches and help us reach other people. Okay, thanks. On to the show. Hey guys, so um, thanks for joining us tonight. We, uh, we've got a special guest. We're actually kind of excited. So um, we have our, our third person that listens to the podcast on the show. Um, so, so, we've got, uh, so we've got Kent Fenwick on. And uh, Kent's uh, a great friend. He was a coworker at Hubba with me for a while. He's, um, he's kind of like this master of all sorts of things. I actually like to refer to him as the master of dark arts even though I don't know if I've ever told him that, but um, he's like this <laughs> SEO crazy um, <clears throat> smart dude um, that I learn a ton of things from. But um, one of the reasons that we've got him on the show is a couple of weeks ago, uh, we had a question about, um, you know, uh, a business and, and, um, and there were questions about, you know, how should I manage my assortment? I, I, um, how do I manage order flow and things like that? And so that was Ken's question. So what we, Kenny and I, um, you know, obviously we like to jump right into things and, and get into it. And so we didn't quite, uh, if you remember that episode, um, we didn't quite have enough information. So we kind of, um, we just um, coerced Ken and Kent into coming on the show to, so we can kind of like open up his life and, and talk to him about everything, uh, everything he does. So uh, welcome to the show, Kent. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Kenny, for having me. It's a, it's a real honor. I look forward to this podcast every week. So thank you so much for having me. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. What's oh, that? I should I should also say that Kent's got a pretty cool podcast as well. It's called Pencil Problems, um, so you should look that up as well. Uh, I actually am a regular listener. I, I like listening to that show too. So little um, oh, thanks, shameless. Phil. Kenny and I are all about the shameless plugs. On oh, we're show, all about so. shameless nice. plugs. <laughs> <laughs> we want to get to four listeners by the end of this month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Big goals, big yep. dreams, baby. <laughs> I've got I've got about six yeah I've, I've, we say we've got about six listeners yeah. of, of pencil problems so I, I mean we're uh, we're hoping to get our seventh in the next year for yeah, sure. Look at us, big dreams. I like it. I like it. Um, Crazy talk. So so let's jump into it because Kenny and I are all excited about this. Um, okay. And uh, so I, I got to tell you so as you guys are listening, Kent was all sheepish about the way he asked the question and all that, and uh, Kenny and I are all not about that. But why don't we, Kent? Do you want to do you want to ask your question? Um, sure. Yeah. yeah. I, I, cause I think, cause hearing you guys, I was actually like yelling at the, at the, <laughs> like I was yelling while listening. Cause I, I realized where I think I threw you off and, oh, okay. um, okay. So I, yeah, so I started this, um, this retail, like an online uh, store about, uh, I think it's September was when I officially started. And so, yeah, as Phil said, I worked, um, I work at Hubba and, I got really frustrated because people like Phil, who've been in this industry for so long, knew so much about buyers and could just get in the, into the mind. And I wanted to do that because my job, I, I lead the growth team. So I'm trying to acquire as many buyers as I can. 
So I just said, well, what the hell? I'm going to start a store to figure out how like how easy or hard this is. And now I'm kind of down this rabbit hole because it's it's a lot of fun. But I'm I realize that I'm kind of I don't want to say I'm in over my head, but I'm I can see where I could quickly just like make make decisions that other people have probably solved, and I'm kind of trying to solve them myself without asking for help. So that's why I, I threw that question out to you because. I feel like this must be a solved problem. Um, okay, so I'm running this thing off of a credit card, right? So um, that's we could debate that probably for a whole podcast, but um, I'm just doing it for the points and because it's just an easy, easy yeah. way for me to pay for things. Yeah. So, but what happens is, you know, so let's say I've I've got a let's just say a ten thousand uh, dollar limit on the on the credit card. So I'm I'm buying things from I've got four suppliers and I I kind of bring in um very niche nutritional supplements that are very hard to find. You can find them in Canada but they're just um they're not they're not everywhere and there's a lot of crap and snake oil. So I actually use this stuff myself so I uh I'm I'm really good at picking the winners and picking a good assortment so I kind of curate it, bring it in. And then really uh, 60% of my sales uh, come from SEO and the, the 40% come from uh, from paid ads on, on Facebook and Instagram. So that, that's my two uh, channels. And, um, you know, it's doing it's doing way better than I thought it was to the point where it kind of started off as an experiment. And now it's, oh, OK, no, this thing's actually this thing's actually, uh, you know, it's, it's making money. So that, that's yeah. good. So but. It took me a long time to figure out if I was making money because what would happen is I'll I'll buy a bunch of products so then this huge um, you know charge will hit my credit card mm -hmm. and Kenny I loved your advice and I never thought about just timing my buys around when my payment is due which is genius because um, I yeah it, yeah it just buy it literally buys me exactly 30 days like you said so. Um, and, and my mission is to like never pay interest. And I realize now that I don't think I can actually do that because I can't turn over that amount of product in that amount of time. Like I'm not selling enough that if I bought um, 50, 50 units, I'm selling 50 units in 30 days. I, but I am selling like, how do I say it? So I'm, I'm I think I have a problem with buying too much assortment maybe or i'm not i'm not buying enough I, i'm not my ratios of of the SKUs that i want are not right because i i'm turning over a lot of product but i have a lot of stale dead inventory as well that okay. hasn't been moving okay and so i think my question is sort of like how do you um how do you sort of like do i just have to accept the fact that in retail I really need to be operating like unless I unless I float my business. So and I and I'll be I started this business with no no investment. So I didn't you know like my my first investment was I bought four thousand dollars worth of products on a on a credit card. Okay. So do I just have to bite the bullet and assume that I am going to be kind of running on interest a little where like there will be times where. I can't afford to pay my full credit card bill because I have inventory sitting on my shelf that I'm not selling, and I just have to eat that kind of uh, loan, let's call it, like, a, or yeah. that that time where I'm I'm not moving that product, build that into my my pricing and all my calculations, or should I just be buying like, you know, 10 units here, 12 units here? Um, like 12 is the minimum is the minimum buy. So I have to buy at least 12 of, of one SKU at a time. Um, but then my, my shipping costs go up. So then I'm paying 50, 50, 60 bucks to, to ship this stuff every time. So I think that all that context, the question is, is it better to, in your guy's mind, do I just sort of even bite the bullet and go to the bank or go to a, a clear bank or, um, take a loan out and just know that I'm going to be paying interest on um, money spent on inventory that's not moving? Or should my goal be to never have a stale item of inventory, even if that means that I have to wait two or three days if I go out of stock 
to resupply because it takes about four days from order to getting it uh, into my warehouse. So does that make sense? Yeah. There's a yeah. lot of questions because they're all different. There's sort yeah. of different answers to, to, to each question, right? The dead inventory, like Phil would tell you, if, 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 if every buyer knew how to buy properly all the time, there'd be no need for the multitude of buyers that are out there, right? <laughs> it's a lot of it's, a lot of it's, is, is, is a guess. Yeah. It's a, you know, you hope and pray, you do some research and most times you hit, but there's failures. Trick with dead inventory is get rid of it as quick as you can, burn it. Cause that's but, dead but, cash. But, that's but dead what do you cash. mean by that? So like, you mean like put it on sale? Discount it, do whatever you need yeah. to do, get rid of it. Yeah. Okay. But it's then, but then cash. people like me, so, so here, here's my problem with that. So I come from this like, you know, and and I think my my archetypes are the wrong archetypes. So I look at companies that I love, you know, like Apple and like, yeah. you know, these, and, and I'm like, they never go on sale, man. Like, <laughs> they 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 never cheapen themselves. Like, I don't want to be that guy. I'm I'm never gonna lower my prices. I'm never gonna. But then, and, and so just another little piece of fun sides. My um, my dad ran a drugstore for for 15 years, like yeah. a physical retail. Yeah. Cool. And I was talking to him too, and yeah. and. Uh, He's like, just sell, like, just yeah. get, just get that. Even if you have yeah. to discount it 80%, get it out of your, yeah. and it's, it's, it's dead cash. Yeah. So, okay. But then doesn't Everybody that, but does then, it. Apple does it too. They, you just may not see it. Yeah. Right? Okay. We but then, but then doesn't that send a bad signal? It. No, What's that? it doesn't. But, I, but I doesn't don't think it does. A signal to my, to my, to my customers being like, oh, I'm just going to wait for everything to go on sale before I buy from this no, guy? No, because you're buying winners. You're, what you're, what yeah. I understood it is you've got some inventory that just didn't sell for whatever reason. If you're sure. telling me it's the same inventory every month that you see, keep hanging out, hanging on to and you're running out of the stuff you're selling, then do a little bit better forecasting and make sure you have more of the stuff that sells and yeah. less of the stuff that doesn't. Yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a two-second spreadsheet if mm, that's the okay. problem. If it's product though that you know you, you you tried you got shit luck it didn't work well if it didn't work who yeah. cares get rid of it yeah hmm. if it doesn't sell today it's not going to sell tomorrow just because you want to hang on to it for another day okay and that's but your then cash money. but then I can play devil's advocate so so and I, and again I loved your and again this is stuff where why you your podcast is so amazing really and I'm not just blowing smoke because you invited me on like yeah. I think <laughs> that you you haven't recorded this yet you know that eh? that's the thing. <laughs> We're just yeah, yeah. This can go absolutely nowhere. So quite frankly, you know, I, I, I think that you two and I used to tell this to Phil all the time at Hubba. You guys suffer from this expert problem where you say things so casually that that don't sound important. But for me, who's just getting started in this, that's actually the some of the more like I, I'm like writing this stuff down as I'm listening because so you made this like passing comment where you said, oh, just call the brand. And ask them what's selling, mm -hmm. and I was like, "You can do that, like, yeah. you, like sure. that's that." Let me not tell you the truth. Yeah. Well, but I, no, but but I hadn't. So so I did that. So I took your advice. So I, oh, I gave yeah. I, well, I I I emailed them because they yeah. I don't even know if they would pick pick up the phone. But I I said, "Hey, like, I got this problem. Like, I I bought 24 units of this thing, and I mean, it should be selling. So in this case, um, it's this uh, MCT oil. It's a, you can buy it at like Whole Foods. Like you yeah. can buy this family of things called MCT oil. But this is actually like this is it's it's patently a better MCT oil. Like it really is a better product. And I thought it was gonna fly, and it's not. So she said, no, it's it's flying for us. Like you you're just not marketing it right then like you're just not like your description's probably bad maybe you haven't educated people about it is it the right price so then, point did I she think tell you so. what they average on a price point um so it's hard because um yeah that that's a fair point like so again it's like should i be putting more of this work on the brands to help me mm -hmm. sell this stuff mm -hmm. i would yeah like, i would like i mean one, their answer was yeah. pretty flippant too right yeah. i mean it's selling well what does that mean yeah. Relative to what? Like if you got 50 items in your arsenal, you're yeah. telling me it's a top five, top 25. Mm -hmm. Like where is it in the grand scheme of yeah. things? Right? Because if you ask a buyer things, buyers come in. So, you know, your product, like Phil would come to me. His products never sold. Everybody else was flying. Phil's would never sell. That's what I would tell Phil because why <laughs> would, would I never tell say Phil it that nice. He always made me cry. I, oh, I would I would leave. <laughs> you're so full of shit. I was such, I was such an easy buyer, man. I was such a nice person. No, Kenny was good. I just be honest. Yeah. No, but your question is, yeah, you should push back, but you got to all do it this way. 
you know, you phone one vendor. If that's what they're telling, phone two more. Yeah. Ask the same question and see what yeah. they say. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So, so let's say then, so I, I like this, I like this strategy. So, um, let's say that they, let's say we find out that it is selling though. So let's say that everybody says, Kent, you're the, you're the problem here. Yeah. Everybody yeah. else is selling this stuff. Yeah. And I, I do feel, uh, feel you, I'm writing this down. It's a good, I should just triple check that I'm not just completely overpriced on it. Yep. Yeah. Um, and and the, the the signal that tells me that I'm not though. So this is where my my data nerd comes in. So I have this thing on my I have a chat bot called uh, Intercom on my on my site, mm-hmm. and I probably get 27 pings a day on this thing, which nice. is it's starting to get kind of crazy. Yeah. And people will tell me uh, flat out they'll be like, Hey, you're this is two dollars more expensive um, than at uh, this other place, you know, right. can you price match? And I yeah. just say no, which I wanted to ask you about. Right, right. Um, but um, so, and I looked at the stats, and people are looking at this page. So they are coming, like, it's not that they're not, like, they, the, the traffic is there on this page, but they're, yeah. they're just not buying. But they're not so converting. Huh. They're not converting. So the question is like, um, okay, so let's say I find out that I'm the weakest link here. Yeah. Then the answer you're saying is, okay, um, or like in my head, I, I go to oh, I just need to market this better. So should I be, you know, um, making a video about, you know, but like me showing you five ways that I I use and I really do use this oil myself. Like I put yeah. it on salads. My wife yeah. bakes with it. Yeah. Um, I just drink it straight. Um, like, or do I just say that sounds like a lot of work? Why don't I just do a fire sale? Get it out of my get it out of my warehouse and and you know just keep buying the stuff that's selling. But if if you yeah. sold it well, what yeah. what do you make on it? Do you is it good margin? Is it shitty margin? Is that's good- my next. So that kind of flows into another big question: yeah. is like, so you guys have talked a lot about my so my margin is about thirty percent end to end. So all costs in, all everything in, um, I'm taking thirty percent home. Uh, except th- for except for tax actually. Yeah. So um, so take tax out of that, I guess HST. Um, so so he's net thirty. Yeah. So, is that good? <laughs> um, it's it hard can to, it's, be. Yeah. It, it it's hard to say. Like so. Like I guess it can be good. It's it's really more like it's like a category to category, and it's also like in your case, it's a business thing. Like, is that kind of what you expect to make out of it? Do you know what I mean? I have no um, idea. See, I never expected to yeah. make any money. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh, this will pay for my mortgage in six yeah. months. Like, like that's how I'm, that's how yeah. I'm starting to look at it. And that would be amazing if I could, yeah. if I could get this thing two hours a night, paying my mortgage. That sounds like a great idea. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then some, like, so I'll take my dad as an example. I'm like, oh, I'm making, you know, 27 to 30 yeah. percent. And he's like, oh, that's awful. You should be making 50 percent. Because he's and a drugstore, though, right? Like, yeah, and yeah. I'm like, yeah, but dad, you were selling, yeah. you were selling shampoo, like, um, you but know, dad like also I, I'm. Had overhead. Dad yeah. had rent. Yeah. Right. Dad had a bunch of other things that he had to yeah. cover as well. If you're the house isn't, you're not worried about it, right? No. See, to me, I do it this way. If I was selling 100 bucks a month and making 30 percent margin, it's pretty peanutty. Yeah. I'm right. selling 25 thousand dollars a month at 30 points. Yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah. yeah. Again, and then like if it takes yeah. me 600 hours to make it, maybe it's too much. If the 30 dollars a month on a hundred dollar sale took me literally three seconds, not bad for 30, you know, for 30 yeah. or 40 dollars, whatever the dollar amount. You know what I mean? Yeah. It really, it's 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 that question you need to answer to yourself because you got to build in all this other stuff behind it. How much right. time is it taking? What is it costing you? Um, and not sometimes just in money, like Philip. It's stress and aggravation. If you're worried every month about purchasing yeah. shit, yeah. that's got to be factored in because that's you know, it's not a monetary cost, you, but it's you, been like a little for, sleep you, for you cost. because you've you've got all these things going on. It you might actually like what might benefit you in this case. Like Kenny's right. Like the for the <clears> data <throat> side of your brain, what might help is to take this thing and just break it down into what do I get paid per hour mm. that I do mm-hmm. this. Right, because that, that's that. the easiest metric, right? Because you can take your hubba salary, divide it into the number of hours you spend doing that, and then compare it side by side with what you get paid per hour to do this. That would give you a really like really simple a, it's baseline, a base. right? Yeah. It's a base. Now you might say, I love doing this. <clears throat> yeah. Right. And if you love doing it, well, yeah. money is not necessarily the kicker. 
Yeah. It's nice to have, yeah. but it's not the most, you know, you're not retired. Yeah. This isn't going to be, long. yeah, at this no, moment, and, you're not and, retiring or quitting. Yeah. No, and like so, and and uh, like let me like I'll kind of give a bit of context in case other people listening or or uh, and uh, like like Phil said this this podcast that uh, that that I do it's all about side hustles so and because I've I've never I've never not had like literally since I was 17 years old I've never not had a side I've always been doing you're, something you're else. Good company here, man. <laughs> yeah, and, that, and that's why I love you guys' podcast because yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, and but what I've like what I realized is what I love about this project is it's not really like, like I said, I didn't start it for the money because I just thought there'd be no money. Yeah. I really thought it was a learning. I thought I was going to burn $10,000, <clears> but I was going to learn so much that I was going to kick so much ass at Hubba that I'd make that $10,000 back over two yeah. years in, yeah. in, you know, yeah. performance or something yeah. like that. Um, but now I've kind of got a taste, you know, for, I'm like, oh, okay. I'm I'm number five in the search rankings, and I, I can do the math on the SEO. So I know that if I get to number two, I can yeah. put a I can put a monetary value to what it, what my revenue will be if I get to two. So now I'm starting to think, okay, I, you know, yeah, I I, I could make a run at yeah. this. Um, but to your point, Kenny, like I'm not. It's not a bad stress. It's a good stress. It's a it's a it's kind of like trying to master something, but you're kind of having fun doing yeah, it. Like you're not high. You're getting high on it. It's just yeah, like exactly. It's, yeah, it's a rush. It, it's it, it's a and it's and it's challenging. Like I I how am I going to drive traffic to this thing? Like that that's a hard that that's the hard kind of problem. So, um, but I okay. So if I understand what you're saying, it's like it's hard for you guys to to say, oh, thirty percent is good because there are so many factors that go into. Every industry that is different. Margin. Yeah. Right. Okay, that makes but sense. And like, some so, people could tolerate ten k. Yeah. Some people could could do a thousand dollars a month in top line, make ten percent, be happy as a pig and shit, and that's awesome. Mm. And, and they spend a hundred hours doing that. Right. Yeah. So make ten dollars an hour sales dollars, not even take home, and be <laughs> yeah. thrilled. And there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. I don't want to do that. Yeah. Right. I mean, I'm doing it the opposite. I'm spending that time and making nothing right now. Well, okay, because like the other, doing, other so who cares? Yeah. So the because the other side of my brain, uh, and sorry, I, I I tend to jump around a lot. So if this isn't, okay. if you want to steer it back uh, a certain yeah. way, you you guys sort of tell me. But um, the so because the other side of me says, if I'm like how another way I could build this is find a pick pack place, right? Yeah. Uh, I'd have to pay them. So yeah. then my margin is going to go down, but then my work essentially becomes nothing. Uh, I mean, I know how to yeah. drive traffic. That's yeah. pretty easy for me to do. But, that's, but that's, that's, my, that's what that's you're good at. So your margin in theory yeah. goes up. Yeah. Because all the shit stuff that you're terrible at and takes too much time, you're giving to someone else and probably at a, at a nominal rate. Right. Okay. So even there though, and again, like, I don't, we don't have to get into the, to the numbers now, but like what, what sort of things should I be, if I, if I start exploring that, option what what kind of things am i looking for like how do i know that this is going to be a good relationship and that i'm not getting screwed like should i is it a should which i be paying though? what's that which part like the, the, on the supply the, side or when you're on the pick yeah. and pack side no so like let's say i decided okay i'm going to um like you say i'm going to try to delegate all the stuff that i'm bad at which is you know, loading, packing boxes, dealing yeah. with all this mm -hmm. stuff. I'm going to just, um, you know, like Phil, you said, just run the numbers on the spreadsheet, uh, yeah. buy the stuff, get it sent to a, a pick pack warehouse, uh, pay them a percentage and, and, you know, kind of walk away. Like, and I, I think I might know what you're going to say again. It's like, if you, on the margin side, it's whatever you're willing to accept. Like if if you're if you're happy making a 20% margin there and you're not doing a lot of work, that might be fine. But it it all kind of depends on. I actually so that. I I actually think it's your it's your numbers brain you need here. So it it is definitely what you're willing to accept. But I think the other part of the math is like so if you took the two hours that you were picking and packing before and like. You know, even the stuff about like bottom feeding SKUs and what do you do with them, 
if the because the the guy who picks and packs is going to know right away they're going to go look like these four boxes have been sitting around like they're collecting dust what do you want to do about these right so they're going to start picking out those things for you as well but i think the other side is the you know the the dark arts wizard in you is like so if you could if if you like 60 percent of your business is driven off of seo what can you do with those two hours in SEO that yeah, yeah. turns that? That's, you that's, know what I mean? That's like, how I look at it. You can yeah. do that side. Shit, yeah. I tell you the truth. I, I, yeah. I'd, find, I'd find someone who's on the block who just wants to do some yeah. pick and pack during the week. I wouldn't yeah. give a shit who it goes to. But yeah. if I'm, I don't want, there's no money in that side. Mm-mm. Right. If you're brilliant at SEO, I mean, I, I can spend all day in SEO. It's not going to do anything because I don't know what I'm doing. Mm. But if you know what you're doing, I'd, I'd, I'd spend more time there because that's going to drive sales. Yeah. The more sales you get, you know, you can tolerate a lesser percentage yeah. potentially if the volume is there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 30% of 25 grand or 30% of $100, right? Exactly. Yeah. And, and, then, so and then by on, on that. Yeah. And, and then by, yeah, so you're saying like just sort of, and it's funny, my, my podcasting partner, Nick, tells me this all the time that he thinks I'm just a control freak and I'm not willing to, uh, you know, let let go of of that part of it and maybe part of it is that I do kind of enjoy it even though I know yeah. I'm not making yeah. my hourly rate and, and Phil I love that idea of I could I could very easily like see I, I don't think it makes sense to compare it to my hubba yeah. um, hourly rate just because it's not yeah. like it, it's not Apple stat like I'm not looking yeah. to how can I make enough money here so that I will leave yeah. um, hubba but it's like don't be mad Ben if, I didn't suggest that Kent should leave <laughs> no, but but you're right though because like if if I if I do the embarrassing math and I come out and I'm making like six dollars an hour or something, I, I'm gonna know what that feels like. And it's like so wait now I'm yeah. taking time away from my wife. I'm taking time away yeah. from my kids for what six bucks an hour and yeah. like and this ego pride to say that I run a store and you can go look at it. Like maybe yeah. maybe I should be just SEO consulting for for but, Kenny's coffee, and and that's a better. Yeah. Yeah, you that, that's a better I mean, way you know, to, uh, what, though, to to pay the bills. Short though, and things in life you also need to enjoy doing. Yeah, that's why yeah. it's it's not a fair question to ask yeah. someone. You know, if if you ask you know uh, a Buffett, he'll tell you, you need probably seventy percent. Right. Because he's yeah. focused on money all the time, yeah. money, and there's nothing right, wrong right. with that. That's, I'm happy for him. Yeah. And you'll talk to other people, and you know what? You may net at five percent, but you enjoy it, and you have a great month whatever yeah and it's also it's really your call yeah like it's different too like if you if you're a um if you're in an like let's say you go um beauty right and you're like you're revlon or you're in that kind of cosmetics business you've got a company that this is what you do this is your full time there are kind of ballpark figures right like the you know um so i don't want you or the listeners to kind of be confused about that because you can you know like if you were to press Kenny and I and go, hey, listen, like when you ran cosmetics, what's what's your average margin rate? We've got a number, right? Like, so if you, well, I know, I know in, the numbers I ran in all my categories, right? Like, and so if you right. came in and, and you sold me something that I couldn't make thirty percent margin on, go away, I'm not interested, right? So, but the problem is, is because you're a small business and you're doing this um, on the side, that number has to come from you. Does that make sense? Like, yep. No, no, totally. Yeah. No, no, I, I, that makes total sense. And I think it. Um, okay, so let's let's shelf that one because that's probably okay. just a personal one. But let's. Um, so, I, I'd love to get your honest take on this. Th- so I have this aversion to like paying interest or like taking out a loan. But when I, when I'm starting to look, and I'm not a finance like that really isn't my forte. That's my wife's kind of forte, but yeah. she's got enough stuff on the go. I haven't really roped her into this yet, but. Like, is it, am I, am I failing if I admit that I need some kind of bridge money to, to keep me, uh, liquid while I have inventory that I know I'm probably going to sell, but I haven't sold yet. Like, am I a failure if I'm carrying like, uh, a negative balance while I'm selling that inventory? Do you know what I mean? Not necessarily. Again, it depends on what the margins are. Yeah. <laughs> If it's costing you 100 bucks a month, 100 bucks a month uh, in interest rates, you know, to to make, you know, a negative, yeah, it's not a smart move. Yeah. If it costs you 100 bucks a month to hold some inventory and you find that you're now you're not running out as much or whatever the story is, 
and you get an extra thousand dollars in sales at 30 points that's probably a good hundred bucks mm. Mm. i see right? to me yeah so it's like so if i like a hundred bucks you mean like the interest that i'm paying yeah, on whatever whatever the, the cost yeah yeah, of, yeah whatever the balance of, of is call it five this or six grand or something you, like that you got debt yeah. inventory burn it yeah yeah you're worried about yeah. paying interest you are paying interest already yeah. Right. Any piece of inventory that you have a month later that you have not sold, that is massive interest. Uh, because that product okay. is less and less likely to be sellable as time goes on. So yeah. so I'd should that sort of be the than hold the inventory. Yeah. So should should that sort of be the like thirty days is kind of the magic number? Like if I Again, buy something and it's I'm not out of it in thirty days? It's, it's it's a margin dependent sort of thing. It depends yeah. on what the category is. Yeah. In cosmetics, the reason retailers let's say, potentially ran at 50% margins. And the reason manufacturers probably ran at 70 or 80% margins is because the retailer turns cosmetics probably twice a year. Yeah. That's it. <clears throat> Sorry, can, can, can you explain what that means? Runs, can, you, can you explain what yeah, turns so, the... So warehouse them? turn, so what we call turn is like, so when you buy a case of product, let's say it has 12 in it, to make that, to sell, to clear out that case and bring in another case is a turn. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? Um, yep. Only like with big retailers, that's like full pallets. That's whatever you put in that. Right. You know, for you, it's it's like a bookshelf in your basement or in your garage. Right. For, right. you know, retailers, that's like a full rack, you know, like. Just a as relevant. A, right. Yeah. Just as relevant. Yeah. It's still absolutely. money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. It's still money. Yeah. So if you're going to turn something twice a year, you need a fat margin because yeah. you're holding that inventory. It's your cost, oh, yeah. okay. your money. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. could have put that money into the bank. You could have put that yeah. money yeah. into a holiday Bitcoin. that you would have enjoyed way more return than what you're getting. So you got to yeah. be careful with that one, Yeah. right? And that's why, like I say, that's why in some industries, when turns are not high, the margins are wide for everybody because everybody yeah. has to build that in. If you're turning it like milk, milk can run, yeah. a retailer will run milk, let's say maybe at 15% margin. Average, mm. let's say blended. Why? Yeah. They turn it. Yeah. Okay, their so orders so in every second day, they're always moving milk. So their yeah. money is always coming back. There's, they're never out of money. Yeah. Right. They're always having. Okay. Cash this money. this Actually, honestly, money. this makes so much sense. Okay, so let me let me see if I get let me see if you if you've taught me this here. Okay, so I've got three SKUs, uh, four SKUs, yeah. that I reorder <laughs> every like 14 days. <laughs> like they sell. Yeah. I cannot like I so I just got a shipment tonight. I'll yeah. probably be sold out in you know again ten days, let's say. Yeah. Okay. So and so then and then you have a lag of how many days with no inventory? Um, I try to keep it. So I'm I'm getting better now at guessing when I'm gonna yeah. sell out of things. But on the weekends, like sometimes on a Saturday, especially if I send out an email, I'll look at my phone. All of a sudden, I've got 27 orders, and I'm like, I'm out. Like I'm done. Like I'm. So how I, much they, of that would you? So you lost all 27 orders? No, 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 no. Like, like I've, like they've oh. cleared me out of my inventory, and then oh, I'm right. caught off guard. So then oh. I have to rebuy on Monday, and then I'm probably not gonna get, I'm not gonna get, um, my my so shipment again till usually. Yeah. yeah, about four, about four days now. So. So four so days and fourteen, though. Four days and fourteen, right? I'm gonna slow you down. That's why four days and fourteen. Yeah. Because yeah. you're out of stock, or two and seven, then it works. That works out too. Sure. Right. So what's two out of seven percentage wise? Uh, you're putting me on the spot. Oh, uh, Huge. Okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, but wait, wait, wait. So but why, retailer, why is that? So if you're a retailer, would you want to be out of milk 30% of the time? No, of course not. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, so then and on for the those items. That are dogs that you're still holding on to. They're not. They're not making any money. So you've lost yeah. money on the loss of sales, and you've, yeah. on the other side, you haven't done anything. So on. Okay. So this. But okay. But the reason why I. So then this is where the the kind of cash flow question comes in, and, and now it makes sense why you guys were actually. So I think you were totally right in cash your answer. Cash flow is king. Cash is yeah. king. Always go back to. Everything's about cash flow. Well, okay. Because what business you're in. Everything's about cash flow. So Ask okay. Elon so Musk right now, what his biggest problem is. <laughs> Cash flow. He's out 100%. of money. Yeah. Out of okay. Money. It's because so so now so now that the I think I understand what you guys are saying because the reason why so you're probably thinking in your head like this kid is stupid. Um, if he's no. selling this stuff, I think this kid this kid is normal. 
Yeah. Well, yeah, but but it's like, but if he's we, selling, we actually uh, we actually don't understand why you haven't quit Hubba and just run this thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. That, you guys make yourself in shit with the Hubba people. I don't say I got no ties to Hubba people. I, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. No, 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 no. I, I'm I'm very happy at uh, yeah. very happy at Hubba, but <laughs> I'm kidding. um, but the but what what you might be saying is like just like okay, or should I be buying like a hundred of these things? Like if I know that I'm gonna sell a hundred of them, should I be buying a hundred of them at a time? If I know I'm gonna sell a hundred, and I know I'm not gonna have any days out of stock, yep. I'll buy a hundred. Yeah. Right. If I think my replenishment can be wonky, I'll buy 110. I'm holding 10% extra. It's not going to kill me. Right? So if that weekend it goes snaky, I, I've got some inventory. Mm-hmm. I can cover. I probably won't lose any sales. Mm-hmm. If it doesn't go snaky, maybe on the next order, I either pull back or you know what I might say to myself? I'm always going to have 10% buffer. Why? Yeah. I'm turning this fast enough. I look at my numbers, my margins dictate it's okay. I'm never paying any interest or holding costs per se, then I'm okay. I don't care. And then okay, but so the reason why I don't do that now is the cash flow thing. So because I've bought all this other free inventory. Up that dead stock. Yeah. Free so, up that okay, dead stock. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. gotta go. So if I yeah, because now what so I can emphatic about it? That's why yeah. we're fat. I'm not telling you that you know, think about it and contemplate. Yeah, Fuck yeah. it. Get rid of that shit. No, 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 it's and I get go. it because because basically, what's limiting me right now from making a hundred, a hundred, yeah, is that I'm, I'm basically exactly. paying this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what are you so waiting you for? Have... You want to hang on to it because you yeah. don't want to show that you can't, that you made a mistake, or you, you're. Yeah, about yeah. I'm, it's, it's like nobody's it's... buying it. Yeah. Out. Okay, but but okay, but hang on. That am, am I better off to just write it off and dump it down the drain? No. No. Cash. You always want to get some Just sell it. Yeah. Who cares? But, but, but then, yeah. but doesn't doesn't that cheapen my like? No. Won't won't I be training well, my customers because, that? Because oh, because you're never like, bringing that back. Like you're, you're not bringing it back. The, you know that consumer might say, hey, you know what? For that one oil, I'm gonna wait because he sold it at five bucks last time. I'm gonna not wait. Gonna but you're not gonna bring it back, right? No, on your webpage, all you're gonna you do is focus that. on the power While quantities last. Yeah. Limited supply. Yeah. Closing out. That's why people do stuff like that yeah. because it gives a consumer to listen. Costco is the classic. Yeah. You go to Costco and hum and haw this Saturday. Next Saturday, you got no hum and haw because it's, it's already gone. Yeah. It's over. Yeah. Yeah. Buy Interesting. It or okay. Don't buy it. I'll add another twist there. So if you start buying, like, let's say you buy, like, right now, you you know, you buy whatever you buy, right? But you're going to up your <clears> quantities <throat> and you hit like 100 because you know you're going to sell 100. Right. There's also. Um, there's also a play back to your brands, right? You're not going to fleece them, but what you're going to do is you, the other, if you don't want to go this route or you want to have this other conversation, the other one to have is, listen, you told me that this sells everywhere except for me, that I have a marketing problem, right? So right. here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lean on the codes that I'm, I'm really good at, right? Because I sell all these other ones and I do a really great job of it. You say that stuff turns for you. So can I send it back to you? Like I'm, I'm gonna order like a hundred cases of this other stuff, sure. right? Like, cause it's killing me, right? Like it's just sitting uh, around and it's like gonna sell die. it back to them. Yeah, Even like if they I'll, I'll charge you a fifteen percent stocking yeah. fee, because you're small. Pretend they say, yeah. listen, it's a fifteen percent stocking fee. Whatever, I was gonna lose that yeah. anyway. So what do I yeah. give a shit? At least it's out of my hands. Yeah, mm. and I put it in yeah. inventory then, that I'd rather have, yeah. and that's selling. Yeah, and so then I don't and, have to take the yeah. the, the 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 like. The no hit brand of perception going, hit. Like, no, yeah, no yeah. brand perception. Yeah. That's interesting. Well, sometimes okay. you throw back on the brand. Remember, this is not your brand. This is yeah. their brand. So yeah. I would even tell them that. Say, listen, I'm in a pickle right now. You guys keep wanting to say this is my fault. Yeah. Quite frankly, I've got other stuff that's selling. So if this yeah. is my fault, this is an education thing, I'm an online guy. i got no education yeah. thing. I'm not my dad where I've got the yeah. pharmacy and, he, and someone's going to come in and we're going to talk for an hour yeah, yeah. and I'm going to cure your life. It's not yeah. going to happen. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I don't have time to do this. Either I'm going to discount the shit out of your brand because I need to move this, or yeah. can you uh, please help me out? Yeah. Take this stuff back. I'll buy – if I return a 1000 I'll buy two grand from you. But I want to buy right. these ones because I'm selling yeah. Right. Yeah. Who's, who's going to lose That's it? interesting. Unless they're yeah. full of shit, what do they care if they take it back? Yeah. yeah. All of a sudden, you know what you'll learn? If they say, oh, we can't do that, well, why? Does it really sell or is that just a bullshit story you're yeah. telling me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. no, no, that's a really – I like that idea. And, again, right. I didn't even know you could kind of do that. I wouldn't have thought yeah. to – Sure. Um, hell, I mean, it, you, you guys are going to you guys are gonna hit me for this one. So every time they would send me um, shipments, two or three of them out of, the, out of the, the batch would be defective. 
And at first, I just thought that was the cost of doing business. So I was like, well, I guess Ken's going to just eat these ones. And then I was talking to someone, and they're like, well, you can, like, return those, right? Is it on average, though? Yeah, you should be able to. Oh, no, no, no I am, I am, yeah, yeah. So oh, okay. so now I just I just take pictures of them, and they refund me within minutes. Okay, um, okay. So it's, but anyway, like, well, this is, that's what I'm saying. But, 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 but what I'm saying is you guys have uh, all this, like, this stuff is, like, that's why you guys need to, like, uh, whether you write a book or... Or almost like oh, no, no. go. We can, we can barely talk. No, We're not writing. No. Yeah. No, no. But but no. there there's. <laughs> I, I don't know what the breakdown of your of your three listeners are, but um, yeah. I imagine it, that. Buddy. Yeah. I mean... imagine that, that that one of them is probably like me, where it's like all this stuff is. It's it seems like common sense, but it's not it's not common yet. You know? Which is so, why we wanted to do the podcast. Yeah. See, yeah. The thing is, what we want because there's even stuff you know you know we may sound like a know it alls, but we don't know. We don't know everything either. I mean, it's yeah. the reason I like going through stuff like this because it, it. I mean, I've got businesses that I run too. When I run through this with you, Kent, it's not hurt. It's not just helping you. It makes me yeah. think, you know, oh, shit, I'm telling them to do this, and I've got yeah, this, yeah. this stuff piled up here. I got, I got to make some moves here too, right? Yeah. 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 Um. Hey, I, I know. Um. Can, can I can I ask one more question? I'm just worried it'll yeah. it'll it'll dovetail. I know your your episodes are a lot shorter than mine, so I'm just conscious of your guys' time. Yeah. Yeah, ask. Yeah, I'm ask on the West Coast nine o'clock. I don't care. Yeah, okay, one, one, one more, <laughs> one more, one more question. So the a, a huge debate I keep having is around uh, free shipping. Okay. So the the two calculations in my head I'm running are if I do free shipping, I lose a bit of money on a certain class of customer. Mm-hmm. But I gain a relationship with a customer that I might not have had if I didn't give them free shipping, right? So, but then the the counter side to that is, why would you ever run anything where you're if, if you're not out there to kill? Like if you're not doing this full time, if you're not out there to become the 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 alpha dog of this thing, why would you ever intentionally lose money to somebody? Maybe that customer just shouldn't be your customer if you're going to have to lose money on them in order to ship them something for free. So I guess the – like and, – and, and Kenny, I just I just bought your coffee um, and you're offering it on Prime. I'm sure you're having to give something up for that. Like you have to give I Amazon something – for that, right? I but but, it but it's different because that's your product, though, right? So you can right. control that. But for me, as the retailer, like, is you have you still have the control of that? It's your it's your choice. The the challenge, it, 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 no matter how you do it, whether it's your mine or yours, you have to figure that part out. You still have to build that in. I have other brands that I sell, right? And like on Amazon, I have my own little seller central thing. I charge shipping. I have no choice. This is Canada. Mm-hmm. If you want to ship stuff for free in Canada, um, you know I'm not going to sell stuff to lose money for funsies. I'm just not that guy. I, I like making. <laughs> okay, money. so but I don't okay, have to make so a hang lot on. Of money, but I like making money. Yeah. No, 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 but 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 let's dig on that because so my so but here's where my marketing. So my background is in is in marketing and stuff too, like branding and marketing. And I'm like, okay, but hang on. So maybe I am willing to lose money mm-hmm. on that though because now I've got a relationship. So if I can. If I can surprise and delight this person, throw a few stickers in, maybe send them a, a T-shirt one day, get them to be really jazzed up about this brand, mm-hmm. when I go and create my own product, so when I go and now create my own line of this a year from now where I'm making 70% margin, um, that's, I can get that new customer that I had to lose money on in shipping, they're going to buy my product and I'm going to make 70% on them. So it's like a long game. Is Possibly. that just – but it's is that, that just? No, you what's your product yeah. now? Now you're in a different league, eh? Yeah. Now you're oh, not buying oh. 30 days worth of product anymore. Now you're buying 90 to 120. Yeah, way bigger batches, way bigger. But but I, I have a question though. So, do you know <clears throat> if free shipping is important to your customer? No idea. Like, like, I just did it. I, mean? I like, just did it on yeah. a whim, and now I feel like yeah. I can't take it back. Like I, this is the stupidest decision I made. I just was like, what's a good number? 89 bucks. 89 bucks free shipping, and I just threw it yeah. up there. Okay, so let me do it this way. Okay, because nobody knows what you're selling, yeah. first off, right? So this is a $90 retail. Yeah. How big is your product? Give me dimensions and weight. Oh, it's like, right. um, yeah, it's like five inches by three inches by 
three inches. It's like okay, it's like a container of um, like it's, it's like a coffee. Minutes. It's like it's like a it's like a Lavazza okay. espresso okay. Uh, coffee can, okay. and, and about, about that weight too. So so it's going to cost you to ship from from Ontario to Can to BC about sixteen dollars. Exactly. Yeah, it's about fifteen to fifteen to eighteen dollars. Yeah. Yeah, I know what it is because I ship all over the place too. So it's about sixteen bucks. <laughs> Right. Yeah. So your your ninety dollar retail, less sixty sixteen is seventy four dollars. Right. Right. Yep. You've got time and I'm assume other things in there. So what are you paying for the stuff? Yeah. Okay. So on that, I'm probably making like three to five percent margin now. So what you do is shut down the free shipping. Yeah. And I would charge like if you don't want to if you want to feel you know good about yourself I guess I mean that's up to you is maybe charge a ten dollar <laughs> flat rate. Yeah. All, yeah. So I was I was thinking I was thinking about that. So I was thinking about doing a a ten dollar flat rate across Canada, and then that way nobody can complain. It's all there, sure. right? You can do that. Yeah. And you know what you do on that one? Charge ten dollars no matter if they order one or ten. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter. Because to so ship two be, of those bottles is still sixteen bucks. So so you'd be willing to lose, you'd be willing to lose a customer. So, yeah, I would you, be willing to lose a customer that I make no money on, yeah, and keep a customer I will make money on, hundred percent. Okay, but, but but hang on, but, but but what if I send them an email two weeks from now? So I'm pretty good at email marketing too. That's one of my that's another yeah. one of my, my my quivers. So it's like, so I'm gonna send you an email in two weeks, and like, okay, so maybe, maybe this is an, an important stat. My repeat buy rate is I've got fifty sixty percent of my customers buy two or three times. Um, so I'm on um, the with the free shipping though? Yeah, like so most of my customers um will buy in the after their first purchase, 60% of them will buy again in 45 days. And how big is the repurchase? Like are you same, getting, same as the are first you getting one. like so you're getting a $90 purchase every But, but, but then I'm still giving them free shipping. So I still have to give them free shipping on that second order. Okay, so let me do it this way. Let me throw it another way at you. So how do you use this product? Do you need uh, a shaker cup? Do you need Hmm. Give me something. Yeah, I mean, like you, you would like add it to a smoothie, maybe. Um, but I, I could do a shaker cup, sure. Yeah, so let me throw some. So you know what? I, I would, you know, when, when I when I do discounting, when I when I, when I if I'm gonna do an offer discounting, I try to throw it in at uh, do with the cost of goods. Look That's at an it. extra value as opposed to cash. Yeah. Sixteen bucks of free shipping is sixteen dollars. Yeah. Yeah. But I might be able to throw you. Uh, a, a sippy per, cup per that's sixteen dollars yeah. in the store, no shit legit. Yeah. That I pay eight. Yeah. So perceived value. So at the end of the and day, it cost me eight, not the mm -hmm. true sixteen. So so you so you're saying charge charge for shipping, but throw in a little something extra. You, I would do it this way. If I'm you, I would charge I would charge eighty nine ninety nine plus ten dollars shipping across Canada. Mm -hmm. Orders over one hundred and fifty. Ten percent discount. I, I don't care. Because the shipping mm. is is the discount and it's, it's you're not gonna, the shipping's not yeah. going to go from 16 to 32. Yeah. Your product, I'm going to tell you, it goes from 16.10 to 18.10. Because you're going to uh, have a little bit more cube and a little bit yeah. more weight. It's not enough mm. to make a big difference. Yeah. But shipping too. Now you're making instead of you know what your example is terrible, but doesn't matter. Say you're making four dollars. <laughs> now you're making eight. Yeah. Right. Which is better than four. But that's why I like charging. You can't. You can't. Yeah. You're running way too thin. Yeah. Mm, so if yeah, you're telling me okay. you're selling a ninety dollar item and free shipping, that's why I asked you. So you're paying about fifty. Yeah. But when you're telling me you're probably paying close to seventy, that's a problem. Well, it's too high. Oh, you mean you mean including the shipping? Yeah. Well, first off, yeah, I even think if you're paying, let's say you're paying seventy dollars yeah. for this item and you're selling at ninety, you're way too tight. No, 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 no. I, I'm buying it at. You're selling it at one hundred nineteen. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm and buying it at. Um, I'm buying it at periodically, whatever. I don't care. No, no, no I'm buying it at like shipping. Forty. I'm buying it at like forty-five. Based on I'm all buying it like stuff 40, you want to do yeah, for these people. Yeah, like for, forty, forty-three right? to forty-five, depending on the American, because I buy in American yeah. dollars. So yeah, I, I I see what you're saying though. If I but if I if I throw the shipping in there, all of a sudden mm -hmm. those numbers get really small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I think we might have lost Kenny there for a bit. But yeah, no. I um, okay. So that that helps a little bit. So you've got a little bit more margin than we, than we thought you did. But I th I think he's no. right though. Yeah. Yeah. What would you do, Phil? I lost you guys. Um, so I didn't hear it. 
Yeah, no worries, no worries. So, no, he's actually got a little bit more margin uh, than we thought he did. So he, he does buy in at 50, right, Kent? So if you're buying yeah, at 50, I, I'm, you've yeah. got no cost on the sell. You're not paying a commission. It's yours. Yeah. So if you went from 90 to 74, you're making about 24 bucks. Yeah. You know, at that point, it's really up to you. Where's the market on this product? Is this product at really a $90 product or is it a $120 product? Yeah. That's a good question. I haven't tested it. I think it's a 90. I think it's around, I'm, I'm pretty competitive. I've, and again, it's it's not a commodity yet, but I have enough competition where I can't go too high or else it's too easy for somebody to price check and then just go buy yeah. it somewhere else. In, but when they're buying somewhere else, what are, your, what, are your, what are your competitors doing? Are they charging, yeah. are they giving free shipping? Yeah, but they're they're big though, right? So like Doesn't I'm matter. up against like yeah, like they're they're giving free shipping on forty nine dollar orders. Okay, so you know what you're right. up against. You've got a free shipping right. issue. I would say at this point, if you're paying fifty ish, selling it for ninety ish, I don't think the free shipping is is necessarily the the killer. I mean, you get it out of your head. You're you're selling it for ninety. You're selling for seventy four ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. What that's a doing. good that's point. Fine. I don't. Think, I mean, you know, without knowing a whole shitload about your stuff, I. I it's it's doable yeah yeah no like, but you know and, you and maybe maybe i should just put on my experiment hat and just say like well I, okay for the next month i'm just gonna not do free shipping and see what happens you could try yeah but it's okay. like anything if you lose that customer see the problem you have now if you lose that person you may not get them back but but you have like that's <clears> the thing right so i think that that is um it is important right because if you're competition is shipping free if they're shipping free fifty dollars you know what you're in a free shipping world yeah i'm sorry you're just yeah. stuck there and again i don't think this model is going to kill you if you're paying around 50 yeah. selling for 90 clawing back 16 ish you're making a 33 margin you, you know you're yeah. you're, you're you, know, you don't have a lot of other expenses at this yeah. moment to me that's right. not catastrophic yeah okay. i work on less on a few things that i'm selling but, and okay. I can still make a of it. But so that's that's some data for you too, right? Because if so, with that in mind, the model and, and probably not knowing a couple more things, but the model <laughs> works where you, you should be leaning into your SEO and driving a ton more traffic. That's what I would be doing. I'd be I'd Do you know be what I mean? hog wild yeah. getting the sales because yeah. a twenty five dollar penny profit yeah. per item. How many items are you going to sell a month? Do you think roughly? Oh, that's a good question. I sell about, sell about twelve. Let's do the. I should know this stuff, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> let's see here. I do about. Uh, yeah, I sell about four hundred items a month. It's Ten G's. Ten grand. You know what? I'd probably buy a little bit more inventory, and I'd I'd go fucking batshit crazy push dark arts man uh, do the dark arts oh, I'd thing be all, I'd be all over like yeah. a fucking on a smarty yeah, yeah. seriously <laughs> okay. oh yeah I'd go looney tunes because you could probably triple this <clears throat> and then at that point your percentage is the same but your penny yeah. profit's going to be huge yeah what, what was it can you, can you describe this but what's penny profit the, the, the actual money you actually make yeah oh the okay actual cash in your pocket yeah because remember hmm. you, you got to work on both when Amazon was – when Amazon – when people were criticizing Amazon because their model was idiotic, they were doing 90 billion in sales and only doing a 1% um, – I think it was net – might have been taxes coming after that, but they were yeah. netting you know, 1%. 1%. Well, 1% yeah. of 90 billion is $900 million. <laughs> That's not a bad return. Yeah, It's yeah. a shitty percentage. Yeah. But it's, it's a, a lot of money. It's a lot it's of cash bad. in your pocket, yeah. <clears throat> right. That's what oh, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. So I, yeah. sorry, so I, I, thousand dollars a year. Yeah. And you're working on the same percent. It's ten dollars. I hear what you're saying. So, so you're saying that if I, on the street. yeah, right. So like, if I can find a way to keep that margin, but just ten x my sales, then I'm laughing. Shit. Let yeah, it go. You're, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're golden. Yeah. So yeah, like, I yeah, about maybe, holding inventory either. I'd maybe I should take out a loan. <laughs> I don't think you need it. Just to put a little bit more on the credit card. Yeah. 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 Even, I mean, think about it. Even if you had a 20% yeah. per, you got ping, dinged, you guys get a business credit card first. But pretend yeah. you got a 20% hit a month. You never paid it off. And you paid the 20% hit. If you're turning this quickly, yeah. even that's manageable. It was pathetic as to say it is. Yeah. You can probably manage it. Yeah. 
I mean, I wouldn't want to, so you're not going to do that. Yeah. No, no, but, but that's a really a little bit, you know, so if you're paying almost all the bill, like 10,000, you'll get, you cover nine floating a thousand bucks. I mean, seriously, who gives a shit? <laughs> and for, for me, it's more of like a pride thing. Like I grew Let up with go. my parents saying like, go, you never, on. you never carry a balance on a credit card. Like fine, that's get, the get rule. A line of credit. I don't care what you got. Yeah. Well, okay. yeah no, in your, I think in your personal life, that's probably a good thing to do. Absolutely. But, but, Business but, um, is hard because you need operational, like, you need yeah. money. Yeah. No, but see, like when I used to run like a consultant, like I used to be a consultant, that was different, yeah. right? Because you, you could easily control yeah. your – so you're saying that it's – and I, I think that there's like a long answer to the question of like it's it's not – I'm not failing if I admit that I am going to carry a balance and just you're pay that interest. Grow. As, yeah. Right. Because you're not going to be out of stock yeah. of the stuff that's selling. You're going to tonight burn the shit that's not. <laughs> However you do that, we don't care, but that's what you're going to do. Okay. And you're going to order yeah. more of the stuff that is. And if you yeah. carry the, the stuff for an extra seven to ten days, you don't care. Yeah. The sales you would have lost by being out of stock literally 30% of the time is far greater than the cost of holding four or five extra days of inventory, which is all you're really talking Man, I feel, I feel like I'm I feel like I'm gonna have to just pay you guys. Like this was this was really I, very selfish to say, but this was well split it in the middle. You know him; he's way more expensive than me. <laughs> and I live in the more expensive city. Okay, so I don't know what the hell's going on. All right, that's the end of this commerce life. We'll be back soon with the next episode. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give us feedback. Tell us what you think. Subscribe, like us, join us, share us, tell your friends about us. And uh, we hope to see you next time with, uh, with more commerce news.